Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum again dear students. I hope that everything will be fit and fine. So let's begin the fun with Ren and Martin again. Now it's time for your checking that whether you are able to make more sentences. Yes, you are right. You understand what I am going to say. Because our lectures uh, tell us that we are on sentences now. So it's your chapter number 14 that is about sentences. After knowing so many grammar skills and enhancing your knowledge about the language, you are now able to understand how to make a sentence. But there are some rules and regulations of the sentence making that is must known by you. So let's begin it. First, the thing is what is a sentence? Sentence, a set of words. Yes, a set of words. What is it? A set of words. We have used many of the set of the words in a single sentence that gives us some knowledge, a complete thought. It means that is complete in itself. It is a thought that completes in itself. In itself. What does it mean? that we have a sentence of a logical complete sentence words. It is a group of words. For example, you can see in this picture that what's going on. The children are saying that we are at the zoo. Children are saying what? We are at the zoo, which is every child's favorite place. We are at the zoo. What we have used here? We have to pick out this sentence underline we as a subject are at are is your auxiliary verb that is your helping verb and at is your preposition at the zoo the zoo is your proper noun which tells us about the name of the place okay if i say we no logic if we say we are at we are at where Again, we need some set of words to complete the thought of our sentence. And if we say the zoo separately, no concept. We are just telling you something about the proper noun, but not giving a logical point of view of the sentence. So, it is mandatory to complete all the words along with each other. So, we are bound to use we are at the zoo. Yes, if we will do we will walk completely along with every part of the word it shows that we are talking about a complete sentence but if we talk about them separately we are not giving any kind of a sentence we are just talking about the words separately but few of the words here are like this what is he doing he is pouring something into a jug or a cup or in some other tub that tells us that if we use the word pour, pour, just pour tells us what? It tells us that we are talking about a complete thought. So, some of the verbs tell us that we are talking about them separately. But we are giving some good logical points here. Yes. So, we are not bound to use them separately or with the groups. There are few words, few verbs that shows a complete action of someone. Like I am writing. So, it means that I am doing something. It shows an action. Let's see more examples. We are going to school. The children are saying that we are going to school. So they are going to school. Again, this is the first type of the sentence that I have shared you before. That this is a complete rule of writing a sentence. Subject, verb and object. So it means that we have to follow this rule. We are not going to do any separate word here. We are not going to use a separate word. We are bound to use the rule of the subject, verb and a sentence here. But pour is your separate word that gives us a complete thought. We can use it separately. Have a look on your page number 185. It's having few of the sentences, few of the words here that gives us a complete thought. Like stop, go, run, 
what we are doing, we are giving a command to somebody that do this. But there is no do need to say go and stop, start running. There is no need to put another verb here. We can just say stop, go, run. It means that if these words are giving us a complete thought. So these could also be a part of the sentences unlike the rule of the sentences that we have discussed before which is subject, verb and object. These three important things should be this part of the set of the words like subject, verb and object are always together. So some of the words could be given in the logical point of view without any object like two words she is running they are walking but there is no object here so it is the sentence that gives us a complete logical meaning it means that we can use these sentences in our life also so let's move to this more group of words more examples more complete thought on page number 186. You can see one more interesting thing here that is your checking. After writing a complete sentence, what you have to do, let's see your checking. For example, if you have written, the ball is blue. The ball is blue. I have selected this point, this sentence for you. Let's do some checking for example there is a checking sense for you on your page it's corpse can you all see that yes what do you mean by the corpse the corpse are coming corpse is a police force that is for the checking of the criminals and the crimes so can we check them have you used the capitalization of the start Yes, I have done this. So why don't we tick this? Let's tick it out. We have done the C, capitalization of the sentence. Number two is O. O means organization. Have you organized the sentence in a proper way? That the ball as a subject, then auxiliary verb or the helping verb and then the object or the adjective. Yes, we have arranged them properly. So let's tick it out because we have done this. Let's move to the next point that is P. P stands for punctuation. Have you punctuated it well? The ball is blue. No, we haven't. What should we do? I have placed the B ball as a common noun. So it should be B, small letter. Moreover, I haven't put a full stop after completion of the sentence. So now I have done this very well. I will put a tick over there. The last one is spelling. Have we used the proper spelling of each word? Let's check it out. The ball is blue. Yes, I have used a proper spelling. Now this corpse has checked that all the four things have been done properly in a single sentence. So it means now I can check my sentence by using these four rules. These four rules are for checking of any of the sentence. So let's move to page number 187. That is very interesting. Some words have been given to you in a jumbled way. They have mixed together and we have to put them in a proper order by using this category of the rules. So let's see. Number one, there are some jumbled word books, the shelves. On, there are. So what should be the first one? There are. There are books on the shelves. Yes. So mark your answers over the words that what should become first. There are books on the shelves. It tells us that there are books. There are books is what? It is your subject. On is your preposition. 
the shelves is your object so we need sometimes subject with the verb with the helping verb sometimes with the preposition and there must be an object if uh, it needed in the sentence so let's move to the next number 2 the park in the boys are playing how would you categorize it yes you will put number 1 the boys which is a subject are playing which is a predicate in which is your preposition the park which is your object yes you have done this see the boys are playing in the park number 3 is the dog animal a faithful what kind of sentence have i used it's not a proper logical sentence so how will we divide it let's see the dog again which is our subject is a faithful animal yes this is the proper chronological order of writing a sentence in a respective way number 4 the truth children good the, the truth always tell how will we set it we will set good children which is your subject always tell the truth yes good good children always tell the truth this is your sentence and check your all the cops call your cop and check your sentence in a proper way have you punctuated well have you capitalized the first letter or the proper noun have you organized it in a good way have you punctuated have the spellings have used properly yes check it out number 5 my birthday 16th july on is how my birthday is on 16th july this is the proper sentence so let's move it uh, on the next page but the rest of the sentences will be done by you now exercise number 2 is one of the important exercises that tells us something about having the singular and the proper nouns with the usage of your helping verbs we all know that we use is with the singular noun and we use are with the proper one so how we are going to do birds and nests let's make a sentence about birds and nests birds are in the nest yes number 2 cats and milk cats are drinking milk because we are talking about a subject that is plural which is cats cats are drinking milk number 3 tom and his dog can you all see this is a picture of a tom and his dog what they are doing tom is in love with his dog yes number 5 cows are eating grass number 6 birds have wings you can also do this in this form no need to use is am or are it is not mandatory you can use a present tense here by using a helping verb birds have wings number 7 bees are making honey number 8 urdu is a language of pakistan and 9 and 10 will be done by you because i am not going to do each and everything for you because i am just explaining this to you please do it to yourself move to exercise number 3 that is present on page number 189 match the column let's match it herbivores herbivores animals eat plants join it fish where is the fish point let's see children board the train no or lives under water lives under water join it the dentist what dentist do let's find out dentist is examining the teeth yes this is his task the couple the couple what the couple is have no children this is particularly for the couple now number 5 grandmother grandmother has wrinkles on her face obviously this suits the uh, grandmother so we will go with it number 6 did the look for the question mark where is the question mark because the answer has been started because the sentence is started with did 
So we will go with the interrogative. So where is the question mark? Children board the train? No. Did the children board the train? Yes, this is the right sentence. You have joined the first part of the subject or the helping verb with the second that is predicate. We played. We played what? A fun game today. Yes. Number eight, light. Light makes the room bright. Number nine, do you? Again, here is a question for you. Do you like watching a fight? This is a question for you. Number ten, Sonia is arriving on Tuesday. I have done a complete column for you. Now, please be careful about doing it again by yourself. Page number 189 has exercise number 4 again. On this exercise, we just need to give them some answers. There are some questions for you and you just need to write the answers in a proper sentence. Like, are you not well? Yes, I am not feeling well today. Number 2, have you not written in your notebook? Yes, not yet. Number 3, don't you like to play with us? No, we don't. Number four, was not Rashid present yesterday? No, he was not. We are making some proper sentences in a logical way by following these all rules. Number five, haven't you brought your drawing book along? Yes, I have it today. So the rest of the answers will be given by you yourself. I hope that now you can make as much sentences as you can in a very good order. So please do the rest of the sentences of the exercises as your practice. So my dear students, I hope that all the lectures are very well taught and you will be able to solve each and every sentence to your own. You guys are thinking that why teacher have not solved all the exercises. It is because I want you to be the perfect one and please keep on revising and doing all those rest of the sentences. The sentences that have been ticked in green color is a sign that teacher has given you an example and the rest of the sentences are your assignment to follow the text sentences and do it to your own. I hope this was a very good and beneficial lecture for you. See you next time. Allah Hafiz.